everybody. Friday night, Doug and the crew with you. This weekend marks two years now since that deadly gas explosion in northwest Dallas, the one that killed a girl and also prompted a new state law requiring gas providers to replace all those old cast iron pipes that used to be there. Andrea Lucia live tonight to get us underway in Dallas is at most at the same time requesting higher rates to help pay for the improvements. And sounds like that's not sitting well with everybody. No, it is not. You know, that house that exploded with a family of five inside is gone. All that remains is this empty lot behind me. And the resentment among those neighbors who blame that gas company for the young girl's death. Every February, I, I remember. You know, I see it every day anyway. I Deanna Ward lives across the street from where 12 year old Linda Rogers' home once stood. And I remember that my house shook. I looked over there and it was caved in, blown out from the sides. I knew they were in there. I already got halfway started doing Linda was making this recording of herself getting ready for a cheerleading competition when her house exploded. They were digging through the degree looking for when they found their daughter, uh, the crying. It was the third fire in three days on the same block linked to natural gas. Amid calls to replace aging gas lines, Atmos Energy says it spent $200 million last year in the city of Dallas and replaced more than 100 miles of steel and cast iron pipes. Now, to help cover the cost, it's asking city council to approve an $18 million rate hike, averaging an extra $5.5 a month for homeowners. So all of Dallas has to pay for the, their mistakes. No, I think the stock owner should take a bite out of this. <laughs> Yo todavía hasta ahorita no me siento segura. A block away, Elena Garcia still doesn't feel safe turning on her stove. Her now two-year-old granddaughter was a week old when they were forced to evacuate as a result of the fires. Five dollars, she says, is fine. Vamos a estar más seguros. What matters, she says, is we will be safer. The city of Dallas is now reviewing that proposed rate hike and will likely negotiate with Atmos. City Council will get to vote in May. If it doesn't reach an agreement with the gas company, well, Atmos can then appeal to the state. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea,